Booker T. Washington, George Washington Carver, the Tuskegee Airmen, all prominent and reputable figures who left their mark in Tuskegee, Alabama. The contributions made by each of these groups sent shockwaves of influence throughout the nation. But what about Charles Wallace Green? During a time of racial segregation, Booker T. Washington envisioned a community that could serve for the black faculty and staff members of Tuskegee Normal School. And in 1891, Charles Green made that vision into a reality, a bridge that could bring together campus and community where one current resident has her own memories of that time. My name is Lucinia Laverne Williams Dunn. My parents brought me here when I was four years old from New Orleans, Louisiana. It was a time of care being carefree. We didn't have to worry about anybody kidnapping us. Um, and there were no police. And we did not have police in our community at that time. We could be safe. And when I say be safe, I mean, I was five years old living in Greenwood. I had a little red wagon, and I was, I read, I was one of those children that read books like crazy. And there used to be a children's library in the library on campus. And so I'd get my little red wagon on uh, Saturday morning, walk up to the campus, take my books, get me some new books, and walk home. And my mother never worried about where I was, or what was gonna happen to me, or worried about anybody doing me any harm. As a student here at Tuskegee University, I love it here. Uh, we have a lot to offer, especially out in the community. A few things that I wish we could up on is some of the essentials like grocery stores, uh, especially food spots. I mean, everybody has to eat. And uh, just having something that would encourage us to go out into the community outside of the campus, that would definitely be some of the great things that we could add here. Now the community is being affected by things unforeseen, such as the current coronavirus pandemic. Tuskegee University students have also been affected and wish for things to return. However, changes are being made in the community, and one of them is the return of businesses and an economic center. My name is Denzel Gill, and I am the owner of Access Health Bar here in Tuskegee, Alabama. The main goal of this establishment is to promote fresh fruit and vegetables in Macon County, but most importantly, we want to change health behaviors of the people in the community. So whether that's you know changing your diet, whether that's participating in physical activity, whether that's just participating in our event program, our main thing we want to do here at Access Health Bar is just to promote health. So um, if you want access to more farmers, if you want access to health products, this establishment is here for those things. We are in the midst of a pandemic, but Access Health Bar is here to serve as a tool to promote health during this time. Not only for uh, the individual itself, but for the community at large. We want to see new businesses. We want to see new programs. We want to see new things to, you know, get the community moving and get the community involved. So I hope that Access Health Bar can be a, a template for other new businesses to come to Tuskegee and to promote. Because we have a, a large amount of uh, resources in this community. We just have to share light to them and really, uh, and really invest into them. It's important for young people to know the shoulders upon which they stand, the legacies that have been left for us to build upon. It is a place of significance, and the fact that it still exists uh, after 130 years uh, and that we're all coming together to try to revitalize it means that it is and was a very important community.